Today we'll be taking a closer look at Workday Adaptive Planning's reporting interfaces. Adaptive planning offers powerful and intuitive reporting. First, let's take a look at our functional profit and loss in adaptive planning. This shows me my functional profit and loss for my working budget, by account, and by month. In this view, I also have included a full year's worth of actual before looking at my working budget broken down by month. However, let's take a look at a report in Office Connect for a more detailed reporting view. Workday Adaptive's Office Connect is a Microsoft add-in that sits across Microsoft Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. When a user logs into the application, a new Office Connect tab will appear in the Microsoft ribbon with icons for all the actions that can now be completed. These actions might include things like logging in and logging out, refreshing a report, changing the workbook properties, or setting report settings such as zero suppression. On the left hand side, we see a list of all of our structures that have been pulled through from our adaptive planning instance, all of which can be leveraged as we go through and build our relevant reports. The main screen here shows my functional profit and loss report. Again, as per the adaptive planning instance, we have a list of accounts on our left. But this time we've got a current month plus a current month year to date comparison, showing our actuals, our working budget and the relevant variance. While this is sitting in Microsoft Excel, we are pulling our data through from our adaptive planning instance. This is a one directional link, meaning there is no write back capabilities and that we are always pulling back the latest view of the data as per adaptive planning. Being that it's in Microsoft Excel, we still have the ability to leverage Microsoft Excel functionality such as formulas, good formatting, as well as charts for visualization, which can then be added into our board packs. Let's go ahead and run this report for March. I'm going to change my workbook property so that my report date is now end of March. We're going to go ahead and click our refresh button. And at this point, Office Connect queries adaptive planning to retrieve the latest data based on my selection changes. Now I have a functional profit and loss for March, March here to date. And across my other tabs, I also have a refresh balance sheet, cash flow, as well as my charts have now updated to reflect the timing change. As Office Connect also spans across PowerPoint, let's take a look at a board pack in PowerPoint. Again, a new tab in my Microsoft ribbon appears for Office Connect. There's a much more refined list of actions available. This time it's limited to logging in, logging out, pasting the objects from my Excel workbook, and again refreshing to ensure that I have the latest data pulling through to my board pack. Sitting across Microsoft PowerPoint, we have access to all of the PowerPoint functionality, such as our uh, corporate templates to drive our formatting to ensure this is consistent across our organization. We can then pull through our various charts from our Excel workbook, as well as again, my functional profit and loss. I also have the ability to add custom commentary to notes across my board pack for my target audience. A single click of the button will ensure that all of my data is refreshed and showing the latest data set as pulling through from adaptive planning. If you or your organization are interested in more information around Office Connect, please reach out to Fusion 5. We'd love to hear from you.